Today is Sunday, the 29th of December, and we're fishing Shore Beach. Hi guys, how you doing? Hope you all had a cracking Christmas. Um, it's just that funny time of year now where it's in between Christmas and New Year. Um, some people have time off work, so you don't know what day it is, what you're doing. But I've managed to sneak out for a couple of hours to do a bit of fishing, so I'm all good. Um, some more good news, hit a thousand subscribers. I managed to hit it on Christmas Day, so that's my target. So thanks to everyone who subscribed. Um, I will be monetizing my videos, um, so there'll be a couple of adverts. I won't go too crazy with the adverts because I know they're quite annoying, but just a few pennies here and there help out with just fishing and things like that. So I should be able to get um, a few more bits of bait in and new tackle. Eventually I'll upgrade um, to a nice camera. Um, that's the plans anyway. But I don't know how long that'll take. I don't know how good the money is on YouTube. I think it's not an awful lot. I think you have to literally work all year just to earn a few hundred pounds. But hey ho, it's a start. But today, down Shore and Beach, out upon the open beach here. I'm normally fish miles over here, sort of where the flats are. That's where I normally fish. But I'm just gonna fish uh, one big bait and just so like a one up one down rig just scratching around to see what i can find um sea wise it's reasonably flat you've got the big rollers coming in like down the other beaches which are quite big um doesn't do it much justice on the camera but some of them are sort of like six seven foot high and they can roll quite far up the beach that one's only about three four foot high but there's some power behind some of them so got to be a bit careful don't know how, how old this weed line is but yeah let's sort out the rigs and I'll show you how I'm fishing okay so bait wise I'm using some lugworm and if you're wondering why it's a funny green colour I bought some um, luminous green um, pigment I was going to tart up some of my lures and I was going to put some of the end of my rod just to um, make it stand out a bit more sort of glows in the dark and stuff but I had a crazy five minutes and thought oh, I'll put some of some salt water that is non-toxic and stuff and just see if any of the lug wouldn't take on any of the colours I mean I've got my little UV light here it's really good stuff when it's you can't really see it much in the daylight but really goes well at night but no the plan didn't really go to work I did also wrap a couple of worms and some paper here I haven't got a clue what these are like. A bit more toxic green, but nah, it doesn't really work. I don't know how you could get them to take the colouring. Um, I was hoping the water might flush through them and the colour might get inside a bit, but I only dug literally like 10 worms just to try it out. But I'm just going to use my normal frozen mackerel there. Probably use a big, um, use a head for a big bait on the other rod and just little strips once I use that with slugworm. But if any of you got any ideas of how to get some pigment inside some lugworm, let me know. So rig wise, it's just a two hook flapper, all clipped up. I found this one sitting in my tackle box, uh, it's a pre-bought one, I've never used it before. It's got a little spring there as well to help release all the clips. But I'm just going to hammer that one out as far as I can. The tide's already come up a bit cheap, five metres away from here. Better now, it's high tide, so got to be a bit wary. But I'm just going to have a this one out as far as I can. Okay, um, big bait wise, literally just a head and a mackerel there. That's on the rod with your white tip there. It's the right hand side one. And also, just going to hammer that one out as far as I can as well. Right, that's me all set up now. 
Neto and Rod's been out there for about 10 minutes now. I think I've seen a couple of knocks on it already. But I'm just going to wait until I definitely notice a fish. Did anyone get anything nice for Christmas? Me, didn't really get much. Um, what did I get? A portable hard drive and some Bluetooth earphones. So yeah, all for editing really, to back up all my files and to be able to sit in the corner and edit it, edit my videos without the other half moaning. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, bought myself a projector, so that's one set for my man room to get them done. Uh, so I can watch all my YouTube videos and do my editing on it as well, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's about it really. Okay guys, first cast. Got a fish. It's a species I haven't had in a while. It's the dreaded Brooklyn. I think that's just a free bearded Brooklyn there. I forgot about these. This time of year, we, you always seem to get loads of them as well. But let's get it on hooks and I'll chuck it back. I don't know if you can see, it's actually a five bearded Brooklyn. It's not going to focus, I don't think. But it's got two body eyes, two above the top lip, and one underneath the bottom lip there. And that's why I call five beards. But yeah, slimy little thing, but like a little eel almost, slimy and just yeah, bait robbers, not very nice. But I'm going to chuck this one back anyway. Am I the only one who has no food in the house at this time of year? Or no proper food, it's just all snacky bits and things. So I'm raiding through the cupboards trying to make myself a sandwich. No bread. Or I could find with some chicken soup. And I've stolen half a bag of Doritos there. That's how desperate things have got. No one can face going food shopping this time of year. But yeah, I'm gonna think of crack open up some soup and Doritos. Yay! My little stove there. Just turned it off now. That's my little soup there. And some good old Doritos to dip in it. Yummy! I must say that was quite a good little combo that chicken soup and chili heat wave Doritos. Worth the guide, you got got it set them out of the cupboard and you've got nothing else to eat. Haven't noticed any more bites than my rods, but I'm gonna take my left hand one, that's the one that had the lug worm on it. That probably needs a change. I noticed last time they've been stripped on the top hook as well, so I don't know the current's went off or there's little fish dipping around. But yeah, that's the plan now. I'm gonna take it in, have a check. Right guys, there's another fish on my lugworm. Just a small white in there. Right, let's get them hooked and we'll chuck them back. The size of the white in there. Probably about 8 inches, eight inches long, so. Just to give it a bit of a tuck across the swirl. There he goes to swim off for another day. Look how domesticated I am. Even got some water and a sponge. It's only sort of water. I'll give a rinse off some fresh water when I get home. My other half be proud of me. Washing up. Just say so we have to put away dirty gear in my fishing box. Like I said, I'll give another rinse when I get home. Just to clean it up properly. But it's quite handy having a little sponge. Look at that, my tripod's even got a little hook so I can air dry my saucepan. <laughs> no bites yet. I've cast it in a bit closer this time. I'm trying to find the little gully between the sand and the stones. It sort of runs along just behind the back of the way there. Normally you get fish patrolling the whole route. So I'm just trying to see what other species I can pick up really. 
but I've only had a couple of cars, so I've just, sort of just been taking my time, time doodling around, just enjoying the weather, just enjoying being out really. Um, going to try and get out again soon. I'll go back to work on Thursday, so I'll see if I can sneak in another session. Keep getting knocks on my left hand rod there. Every now and again, get a quick little rattle. I think it's a whiten bite. So I think I'm going to take that one back in and see what it is. Okay, another fish, another whiten. Slightly bigger this time, but that's on my log worm again. Let's get them unhooked. Let's get this whiten back. Sorry. I want to get a foot full of water just for a whiten. After this one. Off he goes. I've used up all the lugworm, which was just seeing that mix of water and the glomadoc pigment. So now I'm just using the stuff which was in it in my dry. Um, hasn't really stuck to it at all, but it's a lot more toxic green in the dry powder. But I have caught a fish every cast, so I don't know that it's made the slightest bit of difference, or maybe just because I'm using a worm bait. But yeah, let's get him on the hook and chuck him out. Keep going rattles on my left hand rod there. Looks like another little whiten bite again. And am I going to get a bite on camera? Probably not. It's been good, shaking away well for the last couple of minutes. I'm going to take it in, have another look. No fish this time, you can see it's been stripped. Same with the bomb hook. Let's have another cast out. No more bites. It's got a bit quiet now. I've only used about 10 lugworm this whole session. I haven't given it my full potential. It's just, just nice to get out today and just chill. I'm using a single worm on each hook. Had about five cars. And yeah, that's resulted in a few little fish. And um, before I forget, I just wanted to give um, Scott Howard a shout out. Um, I don't know if you remember, but in my last video, I bought that cheap salmon and he recommended um, tea smoking it. So what I did was I filleted down the salmon, de-skinned it, and made up a brine of sugar and salt, and left that to marinate overnight. The next day, I um, lined my wok with a load of foil. Got a couple of tea bags, empty with all the tea leaves outside. Put it back inside the wok, chucked in all the salmon. Suck on the lid, pull the lid down. And yeah, literally smoked it for about half an hour or so. And it came out beautiful. And the salmon was about seven and a half pounds, so no, a good three pounds and one fillet there it was just amazing. I it lasted like three, four days. I gave half it away to family as well. It went down a treat. Everyone loved it. So yeah, thanks that's got hair. So I'll definitely try that again. But fishing front today. Well, we had two white in the Rocklin. Just been nice to get out really. Um, we'll go have one more cast off this one. See if we can find another fish. So yep. If I hold on for another 10 minutes and I'll chip eight and then try again. I was completely stripped off from that last cast. So I just put on my last lugworm on the bottom hook 
and a bit of mackerel on the top hook. As you can see, the tyres dropped right out now. So I'm not expecting much, but I'm just going to hammer that one out as far as I can. Okay, just had a mad five minutes of people. Just all walking under my line. But I think it's time for me to put it a day. Some, some of them literally walked into my line. I, I've moved my stuff down a bit more, but just because the angle of the beach and stuff, some people just, yeah, completely down the tree. But I'm going to take Watson and have a quick look, see if there's anything on the end. Okay, another whiting. That was on my lugworm again. Bottom hook. Similar size to the other ones. But there's no blanking today, so that's good. Get to take him with a whiting bod. I doubt there's anything there. That's a big bait, so I definitely know about that one. But let's get this one unhooked. Say bye to the last fish of the session. Get a little chuck. Enough that one goes. Okay, that's the remain of the big bait. Been nibbled away with crabs and white and bollocks fins. The bait elastic's that's come off it as well. But yeah, that's what we've done today. Lovely day to be out, especially over Christmas as well. Escape all the crowds and just get some new time again. So that's really good. Um, go try and get out again before I go back to work on Thursday. So hopefully you'll see a video before the end of the new year. But if not, I'll be out again early next year. If you like this video, get a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching guys.